It's always a terrible feeling if you're not happy with your hair. A lot of us base our sense of self off of our hair. So if your hair doesn't look good, you don't feel good. So today I'm gonna give you some different recommendations for what you can do to fix your hair, whether you were just in the salon or not. Typically, if you hate your hair after leaving the hair salon, it's normally because of one or two things. The first thing is that you did not get what you asked for or what you and your hairstylist discussed you were going to be getting. And the second is that you got exactly what you asked for, but it just doesn't look as good on you as you thought it would. So if your hair didn't turn out the way that you and your stylist discussed during the consultation, I want to first point out that this is not your fault. It is the stylist's job to perform a thorough and full consultation. This means asking you for pictures of what you want as well as what you don't want. She should also inform you on if this is even possible to do in one or however many sessions, the cost for maintaining this style, as well as what it's gonna take to style it at home. She should also point out if she doesn't think that this is a good option for you. If all of these bases aren't covered, then we can't be sure that you guys are both on the same page. If you guys aren't on the same page, it's likely that you'll end up unhappy after the service. So if this is the case for you, it's very important that you reach back out to the stylist and or the salon. Even if it's something that's unfixable, like your hair is just way too short, you still need to let them know that you're not happy. Doing this will help the stylist understand that she has some things she needs to work on with her consultations. Now, most salons will have a one to two week period where you can reach back out and they'll offer to redo the service for you. This gives the stylist the opportunity to make things right. Sometimes all you need are a few adjustments, like maybe a root smudge or some extra low lights added, but either way, it's very important that you let them know that you aren't happy with the service. Now, let's say that you and your stylist had a thorough consultation and she gave you exactly what you asked for, but you still aren't happy with your hair. This is actually not uncommon, especially when trying out a new color or doing something rather drastic. I've been there myself and there's been times where I've tried out a new hair color and then every time I walk by a mirror for the next week, I'm shocked at who I see in the mirror. Sometimes it just takes some getting used to, but other times there could be some adjustments that might help make this a better fit for you. And in this instance, you may want to explain to your stylist that they did everything that you asked for, but you just don't necessarily like it on you they can help work with you to figure out what adjustments need to be made in order for this to be more you. Now, like I said before, most salons will have a one to two week period where you can reach back out and they'll offer to fix it for you. Just keep in mind that if the stylist did exactly as you guys discuss and what you asked for, there may be a charge for whatever adjustments need to be made. This is very dependent on the salon. Some will still do it for free, but others may charge you because they delivered as asked. Now I wanna give some extra tips on other things that you can do for certain situations if you're unhappy with your hair. It's important to know that your hair is not always going to look exactly like it did when you walked out of the salon 24 seven. The models in those pictures do not have that hair all day long either. So you should understand that there is gonna be some styling involved with some particular haircuts or styles. Something else I wanna point out is just because a hairstyle looks good on somebody in the picture doesn't necessarily mean it's going to look the same on you. We all have different face shapes, skin tones, as well as hair textures that will affect how the hairstyle or color looks on us. In the description, I've linked a few videos and blog posts that will help you determine what styles and colors will work best for you. So if your hair was cut too short, Usually the best thing to do is to just wait it out. Hair typically grows a quarter to a half inch a month, so hopefully it won't take too long to get to where your initial goal was. Now, another option, if your hair was cut way too short, and this is actually something I have done two separate occasions in my life when I got a bad haircut, is you can try putting a few extensions in your hair just to level it back out. For me, in both instances, I was able to put a few extensions in the front just to add a little bit more length around my face. Now, when it comes to extensions, there are several different options that you can go with. The two that you can do yourself at home are either clip-ins, which can be very useful, especially if it's just a specific area that you need a little more length, 
or you can opt for a halo, which is the hair extension essentially on a wire that lays on top of your head and will give you length all the way around. There are several other methods of hair extensions, but you would need to see a professional to have those put in. Ultimately, if your hair is cut too short, you really just wanna make sure that you're taking really good care of it so that it can stay as healthy as possible and grow long quick. Now, let's say that you just got your hair cut, but it doesn't feel quite right. It's not necessarily too short, but it's just laying kind of funny. This is definitely not uncommon, especially if you are either seeing a new stylist or this is a new hairstyle for you. Sometimes it can take a few tries to get it just right. And this is because a haircut is always customized to every person specifically. In this case, definitely reach out to your stylist and she may be able to just do some texturizing in one area or shorten the length in another. Personally, whenever I have a client asking for something new or drastic when it comes to cutting, I typically keep it a little bit longer than what they're asking me for to begin with because we can always go back and take more off we can't put hair back on. So I would much rather have you call and come back in for me to take it up shorter than for me to take it too short on you to begin with. Okay, now let's talk about what to do if you just got your hair color done and you don't like it. Now, if you had your hair colored in the salon, I still recommend reaching out to your stylist before doing any of these options at home. But I do wanna give you some recommendations if reaching out to your stylist isn't an option. First of all, when you're selecting a hair color, you wanna make sure that this color will complement your skin tone. I've linked a blog post below where I go over all the different skin tones as well as what hair colors will work well for it. Now, if you're in the process of going from dark to light, keep in mind that you can't always get to your goal in one session. Granted, your stylist should have informed you of this, that you may have a few sessions in between where you're not 100% happy with it, and there's not a whole lot we can do there other than toning it down. If that's the situation you're in, try to just be patient and just be honest with your stylist about how you're feeling. She can always tone it down more, but each time we do that, we're having to go a little bit darker, which is taking us away from our ultimate goal. Now, if you just got your hair colored and it's too dark, I do have an at-home solution that you can try. I recommend washing your hair in very hot water with Dawn dish soap. Dawn dish soap is a strong cleanser that actually will remove some color pigments from the hair, but it's still gentle enough to be used on the hair. You can do several Dawn washes in very hot water to see if you can bump your color up a few levels. Just make sure that after you do the Dawn shampoo, you wanna shampoo, condition, and moisture mask your hair. This is to ensure you haven't stripped away moisture out of your hair. And now, if your hair color is lighter than what you would like, this is actually a much simpler fix. Your stylist can either add a root smudge, some low lights, a toner, or an at-home option is you can try using a color depositing conditioner. This is a semi-permanent direct dye that you can use at home just to deepen your color a little bit. Okay, so now let's say that you did not get your hair done, but you're really not happy with your hair. So determining why you're not happy with your hair is gonna be really helpful here to figure out what we can do to fix that. Are you finding that your hair is just laying flat? Do you not have any shape to your face? Or is it just feeling dull and you need a little bit more dimension or brightness? If we go too long without a haircut, our hair can often lay flat and lack a lot of body. It can become difficult to style as well as holding a curl if it hasn't been trimmed or texturized in a while. The same goes for color. When we color the hair, we're actually changing the chemical composition of the hair and we're opening up the outer layer of the hair or the cuticle. When this cuticle has been opened up, it gives the hair the ability to maintain a little bit more body throughout the day. I've had clients that have completely white gray hair that I've added essentially invisible highlights to just so they can maintain and hold a little bit more body in their hair. Now, another suggestion is to try out new hair products or styling routines. If we use the same hair products over and over and over again, our hair can sometimes become kind of immune to them. I find it best to alternate shampoos when I run out of one bottle. So let's say I'm using Pravana's Purple Shampoo. When I go through that bottle, I then switch over to Olaplex's Purple Shampoo. This gives you a little bit of variety and you also get to try out other products and find ones that you might like more than the other one. You may also need to add a root lifter or a texture spray into your styling routine just to help you maintain more style. You can also try round brushing your hair or adding a few curls with your curling or flat iron 
just to give yourself something new. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this video. If you have any other questions on what you should do if you hate your hair, please leave them for me in the comments. And make sure you subscribe if you want to make every day a good hair day. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.